Hi, I am Parni Jaggi. Welcome students to this third lecture on the short story The Open Window by H. H. Munro who is also known as Saki. While we looked earlier, The Open Window by Saki is a 1914 short story about a na man whose name is Frampton Nuttall who is actually frightened by the fanciful story of a young girl called Vera. And uh, we also discussed in brief the number of characters we have in the story, among whom Frampton Nuttall is the main character or the protagonist of the story. So we see in the beginning of the story, this man, Frampton Nuttall, arrives at the home of the Sapletons with whom he is not acquainted. Means he is not familiar. He does not know these people. He has come to their place for the first time. He is greeted by Vera. Now who is Vera? She is a self-possessed 15-year-old girl who says that her aunt, Mrs. Sapleton, will arrive soon to greet him. So, he is welcomed by this young girl by the name of Vera who informs him that soon Mrs. Sappleton will join him. Now we see this man Frampton silently entering inside reflecting on his recent shift or move to this area. This area is rural where he has decided to settle down and because he is new to this place, he has come to meet these people who are supposed to be his neighbors from now onwards. And his sister, who once lived here in this place, uh, was actually worried that he would seclude himself, means he would be alone, he would isolate himself. So, she drafted up some letters of introduction so that Frampton could meet some of her local acquaintances. So for this part, Frampton has the advantage of a help from his sister who has given him letters of introduction so that he can show those letters to people whom she knew and he would who would help him in days of need. Now when Vera inquires, Frampton reveals his lack of social contacts in the area. So Vera asks him, does he know anybody in the area? He says, no, I do not know any social contact. I do not know anybody in this area, as well as his sister's efforts to make introductions for him. He also tells this girl that my sister is helping me to introduce me to the people of the area. Vera then notes that Frampton and his sister would not know about Mrs. Sappleton's great tragedy which occurred three years ago. Frampton confirms his ignorance of the matter and feels surprised that tragedy could strike such a place at place. Now this girl is very smart. So Vera then she notices that Frampton and his sister both, they would not be knowing about some tragedy which has happened in this house. So she asks him, do you know of the tragedy that has happened in the house three years back? So Frampton says no. We do not know if something has happened at such a placid place. Placid means a peaceful place. Now Vera gestures towards a large French window which has been opened. Despite the October weather, Frampton asks whether the window is related to Mrs. Mrs. Sappleton's tragedy. So she gestures. Gestures means she points towards a large window in the French design which is open despite the fact that it is very cool outside. So Frampton asks her if it has something to do with the tragedy of the house. So she's, now she narrates the whole story of the tragedy. She tells him that on this day, three years ago, Mrs. Sappleton's husband and her two younger brothers departed through the French window to go hunting for snipe across a nearby moor. Now, this is a story that she is very convincingly trying to tell Frampton. And she narrates the story that because of the wetness of the prior summer, the earth had softened 
and because of that soft mud it had swallowed up all the three men who had gone out for hunting and they did not come back she also says in her grief and sorrow mrs sapleton was so disturbed she was so grieved that she keeps the window open every day until it is sunset why because she is still expecting the three men to return from their hunting with their brown spaniel dog and mrs tap sapleton has told vera of the manner of their departure now she also gives the details about how they were dressed up when they went she says Miss, mr sapleton was carrying his white coat over his arm and her brother ronny jestingly remarking bertie why do you bound so this is the kind of a detail which vera gives to frampton about the story of mr sapleton going out from that window for hunting now while she is telling the story vera trembles as she finishes the story at which point her aunt bursts into the room apologizing for her lateness in expressing her hope that vera has been amusing so now at this point when she is about to finish the story that those three people had gone out for hunting but could not be back because they died 3 years back so when she was winding up the story mrs sapleton enters the room and she says that i hope vera has been interesting for the guest now mrs sapleton then remarks on the open window noting that she has kept it open because she is expecting the return of her husband and brothers who have gone hunting for snipe So now, when Mrs. Sapleton joins Frampton and Vera, what she says, uh, the first thing she says is that I had kept the window open because I am expecting the return of my brother and husband, who have gone for hunting. Now, this is quite surprising for Frampton, because he is being told that those three people had gone hunting three years back. and they are dead and they will not be coming back but she is saying mrs sapleton is saying that they will be back and she is expecting their return in the evening so now she even discusses it in detail she discusses the topic of bird hunting also and she is narrating what is happening with those people now listening to the story frampton is horrified he tries to change the point of discussion he tries to change the subject but mrs sapleton continues to look at the open window and she is inattentive to frampton stalks now this is quite uh, disturbing from frampton he feels quite nervous because he is trying to introduce himself talking about his own health his own issues but mrs sabit sapleton is busy looking at the window now then suddenly she cries here they are at last now this is another twist in the story frampton is greatly disturbed as to what has happened how can they be back because they are already dead so then what he sees is three people appear to be approaching the open window from across the lawn all three carrying guns and one of them carrying a white coat a brown spaniel follows them closely and then also finally one of them also says bertie why do you bound now what has happened there is a frantic state of affairs he is terribly nervous frampton grabs his stick and hat and runs out of the door across the drive into the road nearly colliding with the cyclist now what has happened vera had said these three men had got out of the window gone out for hunting died 3 years back but mrs sapleton keeps the window open because she expects them to be back mrs sapleton says that her family will be back very soon and frampton when he looks at the window and he looks at these three people coming back with sticks and hats and the dog he is 
he is getting out of his nerves and he's chilled to the bones and he's so nervous that he takes a stick and he runs out towards the road because he doesn't know what is happening. As the three men enter through the window, Mrs. Appleton's husband inquires about the man who has just dashed out of the door. So, now those people are also surprised that when we are entering the house, why does this man run away? Now, they do not know the man. He's Frampton. He's a new person. So, they ask about him. Mrs. Appleton then tells him about this man, Frampton Nuttle, a most extraordinary man who spoke only of his diseases who spoke only of his health, his sickness, and then he suddenly leaves without explanation as if he has seen a ghost. So now they are also surprised as to what has happened to this man. Now here, Vera calmly explains that it must have been the spaniel. Spaniel means the dog they have with them that scared him. She claims that Frampton told her about his fear of dogs which arose after an experience in India when he was followed by a pack of dogs and had to seek shelter in an open grave. Now look at the smartness of this girl. She had cooked a story of Mr. Sappleton and the brothers dying, going out for hunting and when they suddenly come back, Frampton is, is, is chilled. He is completely nervous. Now about Frampton, he, she is cooking the story to these people. She is saying that he is actually scared of the dog. So maybe because of that, he has run out because of this phobia of dogs. Now, the final sentence of the story drives home the animatic irony. Now, what is the ironical part of the story, which actually creates wit and humor, is romance at short notice was her speciality. Now, this line is being spoken by the writer for this girl, Vera, because she has cooked a story separately for Frampton, that those people are dead, they had gone hunting, but when he sees, when he looks at them coming back live, he is completely devastated. On the other hand, these people do not know why this man ran away, so she cooks a story and tells them, that maybe he has a phobia of dogs and he had some bad experience in India. So she is such a smart girl that the writer winds up the story with this last line in which he says, romance at short notice was her speciality. So this is how she makes the entire environment, the entire situation ironical, witty, humorous and dramatic with her presence of mind. So this is how the witty author has written a witty story, namely The Open Window. We'll be taking up a detailed analysis of the story in the coming videos. So stay tuned and join me for the next video. Thank you for now.